Hey everyone, welcome back to No Code Devs. In today's video, we're going to be exploring how to create a clone of any website in as little as five minutes using 10Web. Having recently explored their free trial, I'm excited to share my firsthand experience with you. Building a website has never been this seamless. From page speed to intuitive layouts and even premium widgets and upgraded plans, 10Web offers an impressive array of features for customization. So whether you're new to web design or you're just looking to explore the different tools and editors out there, Make sure to watch this video from beginning to end to fully grasp the power of this tool. Let's dive into this video. Make sure to leave us a like, hit subscribe, and turn on the push notifications so that you get notified anytime we post a new video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So here we find ourselves with 10Web. This is an AI website builder on top of WordPress. So let's go ahead and get started. I just signed up with their free trial and you can start creating a site. They have different payment plans and upgrades that you can do. But for now, I'm going to be starting on the free trial. I'm going to click generate your website. And as you can see, I don't have any websites created yet. So I can choose one of three options. I can create a new website with AI. I can migrate a website and host and optimize it on 10 or I can create a website from blank. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose create a new website with AI. And then as you can see, it takes me to a WordPress installation. So I'm going to name my site. You can change this later on if you choose, but for now, I'm just gonna name it product hunt clone. And then for your location and data center, this is gonna be where you're physically hosting your website from. So here you wanna ensure that you are choosing a location close to your main audience. Ours is mainly US-based, so I'm gonna keep it as Iowa. But as you can see, they have Belgium, Netherlands, India, etc. And then for the subdomain, you can use a temporary domain that they provide you, or you can add your domain that you currently own. But for now, I'm just going to use the subdomain. And then for the admin credentials, this will just be a username and password for the WordPress that you'll be installing. So I'm just going to put my username and create my site. And now 10Web is installing a fresh WordPress site for me. So I'm just gonna wait for this to install. Okay, great. So my website is installed on the 10 web hosting platform. Let's go ahead and start. And as you can see here, we find ourselves at our website dashboard. So we can find, monitor, and edit our site all within this dashboard. And as you can see, I have a just the main dashboard. This is where I can check my page speed, the usage summary, any plugins that I have, if my WordPress is fully updated, and I can also back up any of my data or files. And then we have our AI builder, the navigation for the different menus that I have. If you have an e-commerce site, you can control it from here, as well as plugins, backups. You can white label your site, lots of different functions here. But for now, we're gonna be working in the AI builder. As you can see, I can take one of two routes here. I can generate with AI, or I can insert the URL of any desired page and clone that UI. So this second option would be super helpful if you're looking to recreate a UI that you like from another site. This would save you tons of time if you like the UI of another site and you can't figure out how to incorporate all of the different elements, as well as having to hire a front end developer to go in and create your site for you. So I'm just gonna name this PH clone for this page. Gonna go in here, add the product hunt link, and it'll give you a confirmation if they're able to pull the data from the site. And if they aren't able to pull the data, then you'll get a notification. So I'm gonna go ahead and recreate this. And then it's gonna recreate the layout. It's gonna add design elements. It's gonna add the finishing touches, and then you will get your confirmation that your page is built. I'm gonna wait for this to finish building, and then I will come back once it's finished. Okay, so that took about two to three minutes for it to fully create my page. Let's go ahead and preview and edit this page. And before we look at that, I'm just gonna take a look at the Product Hunt page today and see how well the AI built out the other page. So as you can see, I have the main Product Hunt page, we have our top products of the day. We have these elements here on the side, my own products. I have my different reviews. Okay. So now that we have a good look at what we wanted to build, let's take a look at what we got. And then as you can see, it's loading the Elementor page builder. This is because the 10 website is based on Elementor. So it may look familiar to you. All right. So we have our page. Let's take a look at what the AI generated for us. So 
we have the product hunt logo built out we have our different pages that we could add we have the current one that we're on now which is just the home page you can see it included the upvotes element we have our hero up here we have the different elements on the side we have a ct and everything looks great. Although everything looks great, of course, it's not perfect. As you can see, some of the upvote buttons are misaligned. Some of the text is running over into the logos. And while the user interface is generally intuitive, a minor tweak in the layout could enhance the overall user experience, which you can do so by going into the editor and customizing different layouts of the site. So if I wanted to add some space in between everything, if I wanted to go and customize these, I could change the items. I can change the layout there. Of course, it's not going to be perfect. So let this act as a stepping stone to get you started. So let's take a look at the different elements. So I already have the elements that I liked from Product Hunt. If I did want to change anything, you can go and edit the elements tab here. We have just the layouts. We can add containers. We have our basic elements. That'll just be our buttons, our headings, any icons we'd like, images, videos. We have image boxes, icon boxes. Etc. And then there's also the premium widgets, which are available on the upgraded plans. We can add a countdown, reviews, share buttons, a nav menu, lots of powerful tools in 10 web. And then as you can see, we also have our global tab as well. So if you wanted to have any global nav bars or footers, that's where you would find that. So now that I've shown you how to clone another site, using 10 web, the possibilities are really endless. Time efficiency, cost savings, you have a consistent design throughout your pages, the accessibility within the site, as well as the different customization options. So you really have endless possibilities here. It's all hosted on 10 web through WordPress. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below and we will answer them for you. And make sure you give this video a like and subscribe.